When I woke up this morning, I knew it was going to be a good day because Adam Swanson is here. That means pasta time and he makes the best pastas you'll ever see. Today we're cooking ravioli. Yeah, but not any ravioli, beef ravioli just. Yum. Yeah, really simple Friday night dinner dish this one, you know. Don't ring up the local pizza bar for your quick rav. Yep. We do it fast, quick and simple. So yep. we're doing a beautiful San Remo beef uh, ravioli mm -hmm. with cavalonero with beautiful tomato sugo, simple as. Beautiful. Okay. So, I need you to cut up some garlic for me, Just. Yes, sure thing. So, two cloves? Two cloves. Just finely slice them up, you know. Yes. Don't need to dice it up. Just give me those nice slithers. Like yep. I said, this is a great one for Friday night. Now, the ravioli, my tip with the biggest thing about ravioli, Just, is that mm -hmm. boiling water, number one. And two, when you drop it into there, just be gentle. Use a wooden spoon, use the back of the spoon just to push them around so those little pillows of pasta, which you've got filled with beautiful beef, don't explode and open up. You don't want that to happen. No. no. Okay, so it's got to be a little bit gentle with it. Okay. Olive oil, please. You know me yes. and olive oil. Lots of olive oil. Yeah. <laughs> get that started. So we need to fry off the garlic. I get you to de the two chilies. Yes. A little bit of heat. Okay, yeah. so the chilli, you know, if you don't like the heat, maybe just one chilli will be fine. But I want that little bit of heat in there. And the cavalonero, the best thing about that, I'm giving myself some nice veggies, you know, I feel good about it. Yeah. And look, oil's nice and hot. Adam, do you know what I say? Talk to me. With cavalonero, all the farmers out there must be very, very happy <laughs> because this has become so popular in the last couple of years. Yes. Everyone knows it's really good for you, it's hearty, it's cheap, all those really dark, so you know, really in Italy, rough, yeah. it's always been around. It's been yeah, one it of has. those peasant veggies that's always stuck around. Yep. Okay, right. so fry your garlic off. I'll yep. get that chilli in. This one I can smell is going to be really hot. Good. Now, just some tomato passata here. You crush tomato into the pan. Mm -hmm. So that sauce needs to simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes. Yep. I'll get you on to chopping the kale for me. Yes. Nice and healthy. Look at the green foliage on it. And a little bit of the stem is good, Just. I like how you left that. It's okay. No, no, no. Just a little bit. Because yep. that gives a bit of crunch to the dish, okay? Yeah, as long as it's really thin. Yeah, really thin. And look at those knife skills. That's damn good. I've improved, haven't I? <laughs> you have. <laughs> just give your sauce a little stir every now and then. Just make sure it doesn't stick. All right, I'll take that stem from you, yes. Just. Perfect. Get that into there. So you want the kale to simmer in there with the sauce so the flavour goes through. All right, Just, grab that green into the yep. sauce. That needs to simmer for a good 10 to 12 minutes. Add the pasta to the water. Dinner's ready. Mm. Okay, just look, yep. the ravioli's come to the top and I'm using a spider, mm. okay? We're not straining into a big colander because we don't want to let those little pillows explode. And you can use a little bit of your pasta water too, yeah? So if your sauce has reduced too much, take a little bit of that water straight into the pan. My favourite, Just. You know me. Know. Finish it in the pan, get the flavours working together. I don't do anything else now. I almost sound like a broken record because I tell everyone, Adam tells me, put it straight in the pan. It's the only way to go. I'm glad you've been listening to I've me. I've been listening. <laughs> OK, a little bit of salt for me, please. So yes. I haven't seasoned it up until the last stage because... Okay. You can always add more, but you yep. can never take it out. Okay, a bit of cracked pepper as well. Yes, pepper. And I'm using pecorino with this one today, the cheese. Now, pecorino is quite bitey mm -hmm. and a little bit salty as well, so I didn't add too much salt. Yep. Look at this. Yum. And look at that beautiful ravioli. It's just mm. been coated by the sauce. You've got the kale, so you're being a little bit healthy. Mm. Chilli for your heat. Smells good. I could smell the chilli in that. Can you smell it? Oh. Well, I left the seeds in one of them. Did just you? thought I'd be a little bit bold today. <laughs> Olive oil, just to finish, just to give it an extra Gorgeous. lift. Good extra version there. Pecorino. This is my favourite part. Yeah, I like Just this. rain that over. It's like raindrops, isn't it? Yeah. Pecorino drops. <laughs> just right. tell me what you think. Thank you. Now, watch out the chilli. I know. It's <laughs> cute. <laughs> Leaving those seeds in that chilli was a good thing. Perfect balance. You know what I love? That cavalonero. So good in pasta. Very easy to do. Friday night dinner, this is it.